Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time here, a huge welcome to you. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. It's always such a treat for me to make videos for you because I feel like I'm helping out the beading community. Whether it's unboxings, reviews, tutorials, a glimpse into my private life, my studio, my cats, a trip to the beach, whatever it is, I love getting in front of the camera and I love to chat with you. And the best part about making videos here is that I get to read all your beautiful comments and I really do appreciate every single one of them. I feel like I've made quite a few friends here on YouTube just by making videos and making connections through the comments. Of course, I'm also on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Pinterest, and I've listed all those links down below in the description section of this video. So if you want to visit me on those platforms, you can do so. But anyway, guys, YouTube's always going to be my favorite and it's going to have top priority in my life. And like I said, I feel like I've made a lot of friends here. So I'm really appreciative. But anyway, guys, that's enough talking. I want to get to the unboxing. And today we're going to be unboxing one of my favorite boxes ever, Jesse James Beads Magical Mystery Bead Box. And I'm super excited. And I think I know what the theme is. I'll give you a little hint. Do you like to read books? If you do, this is the perfect box for you. And don't worry, I'm not going to be going over any literary arts today, but I am extremely curious about what's in this month's box. And by the way, it's the January box, January 2023. I always mention the year now in case somebody looks at this video a year from now so they know what year I'm talking about. I never used to do that, but I realized that recently that a lot of my videos are going to be out there for a long time. But anyway, guys, if you're not familiar with Jesse James Speeds, I'll leave a link down below so you can go check it out. I'll also leave a little bit of information. I know they have different price ranges. They have a monthly plan. They have a three month plan. They have a six month plan. And you can even buy a single box at retail value if you want to. But anyway, if you want more information, go to the website and check it out. Like I said, I'll leave the link down below. And before we get started, let me remind you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this box. So anyway, guys, I'm super excited. I cannot wait to see what's in this box. Let's go ahead, turn the camera around and we'll get started. And here we have the Magical Mystery Bead Box for the month of January 2023. And I'm so grateful that Jesse James Beads sent me this box this month. And let me show you this little note that they included. It says spread the magic, sign up for a three month plan by February 1st, and the first box is free. As you can see, it's a $45 value and no code is needed. And also the February boxes ship by the 17th of that month. Thank you for spreading the word and sharing the love. All heart, your friends at JJB. As you know, guys, I have different kinds of plans. So if you just want to try it out for a short period of three months, that's a really great deal. So let's go ahead and open up this box. And look at this guys, it's called Book Club. Isn't that cool? And those look like very old famous novels. Charlotte's Web, Little Women, Frankenstein, Anne of Green Gables, Pride and Prejudice. How cool is that? And here's all the titles. And it looks like we have Murder on the Orient Express as well. And here are the dates that the novels were written and here are the authors. That is so cool. I think it's such an original and clever idea. It really is. So let's see what we have. These look like little charms and they look like the actual book covers. Aren't these cute? Oh my goodness. These are so cute. And then we have all these bead mixes. And it looks like we have some cord. I don't know if it's suede or leather. Let me go ahead and pull them out. This one is Charlotte's Web. We have a Frankenstein bead mix and it looks like we have a quote from the book. That is so cool. This one is Murder on the Orient Express. And here we have Anne of Green Gables, a quote from that book. And another quote from Little Women. And this one is Pride and Prejudice. And then we have this flat leather cord. It looks like leather, but I'm not sure. We'll have to take a look. And we have some paperclip chain. I know this is very trendy these days. And we have some flat cord end tips. That's really nice. These look like they fit the flat cord. But I think what I'm really impressed about are these beautiful bead mixes, guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And I just think it's so nice that they included a quote from the book. Look at these colors. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have so much fun. I love that. This one's really pretty too. And let's take a look at this one. 
Frankenstein. Look at those beautiful beads. I love the sparkle of those beads. And let's take a look at this one. This one's Charlotte's Web. So let me go ahead and get organized and we'll go through each one of these. And here we have the Little Women bead mix. I thought we'd take a look at the bead mixes first. And I love this quote. It says, there's always light behind the clouds. And that's by Mrs. Marge from the book Little Women. And I know I read a lot of these novels back when I was younger in school. I haven't seen too many of the movies though, but they pretty much made a movie for each one of these novels. So let's go ahead and open it up. Look how pretty these colors are. Oh my gosh. They're so pretty and so feminine looking. As you can see, there are various shades of pink and green, but they're very soft and pastel-like. I love the combination of pink and green. I think those two colors look so beautiful together. We have some bead caps, and these are in a silver tone, as you can see. Let me put them in this dish. It looks like we get a total of eight of them. I love this kind of bead cap because it shows off the bead a lot more than other bead caps because of the open filigree design. They're so pretty. And these are going to look so nice with these larger beads. We have some beautiful flower beads. We have some cube beads. These look like they're ceramic beads. Let me go ahead and thread them on a rod so we can take a better look. And here they are threaded on. I absolutely adore these colors. Let's take a look at the bigger ones. We have these beautiful large mint colored beads, pearl beads. And I did put the bead caps on them so you can see how it looks. I think they look really lovely. And then we have these gorgeous flower beads and they're in two colors as you can see. We have pink and we have green and it looks like they have some kind of coating on the surface. And then these are really interesting. They look like they're two-toned and they're curvy barrel beads. I think that's how I would categorize them. I don't know exactly the name of this bead and I'm not sure if you can see the two colors. They have like a gradient effect ranging from pink to yellow on one side and then you can see the base color of the bead which is a milky white color. So interesting and so cool. I love these. Let's take a look at these now. I think these are really adorable. Look at these. They kind of look like flowers, but they're not concave inside. They're not hollow. It's a very interesting shape. I don't think I've seen these beads before. And I love these beautiful green ceramic beads. As you can see, we get quite a few of them. And of course, I love the cube beads. They always add a lot of sparkle to any design. And this is such a pretty pink color. I'm so in love with this collection. I can think of all kinds of things to make with these beads. And I do want to pull out the charm that goes with this collection. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's this one right here. Little Women. Let me pull it out. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. And these are actually lockets, I think. Let me see if it opens up. So you could put a little message in there or you could put a little photo of some kind. Isn't that a cute idea, guys? And they used the actual cover of the book. That is so cool. And what a cool idea to come up with a bead mix that matches the theme of the story and the book cover as well. That is so cool. I absolutely love it. Let me get the next bead mix. And here we have the Frankenstein bead mix. It says, beware for I am fearless and therefore powerful. And I have seen so many variations of the movie Frankenstein, but I can't say that I actually read the original novel. Let's take a look. These beads actually match my nail color. Isn't that funny? As you can see, we have a mixture of browns and blacks and we have silver tones. Gosh, these are so cool. I love these. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh. They're kind of a dark color on the back and then on the front, they have those beautiful facets with all those colors. I love these. It looks like we have some spacer beads, different kinds, and we have some that are bronze as well. And these are so unique looking. Oh my gosh, look at that. I can't tell what kind of design that is. Maybe if I turn it this way. I really can't tell what it is. It looks kind of spooky though, doesn't it? But whatever it is, it's very ornate. Let me go ahead and put these on a rod. And here they are threaded on. I had to put a couple of the oval beads on this rod because they couldn't all fit on that one. It's amazing how many beads we get in one little tub like this. Let's take a look at the bigger ones. Just look at how unique these beads are. Aren't they unique? I think these are my favorite though. Look at the beautiful colors. I love those facets. And I guess I do like these as well. They have very large holes as you can see. 
and these have very big holes as well. I love the gorgeous colors in these two beads. And I'm not sure if these are gemstones, they look like they are. They're so pretty. And here we have a bunch of disc spaces. They have a very unique texture as you can see. And these are very pretty faceted ovals. I'm definitely getting a Frankenstein vibe with all these colors and especially these two beads. Very pretty. Well, I don't know if pretty is the word, but they're very attractive anyway. Let's take a look at these now. I gotta say, I love these beautiful spaces. Look how gorgeous these are. They're nice and big too. Very detailed as you can see, and they have a very interesting pattern. And here we have some bronze colored spacer beads. These actually have pretty large holes. And here we have some shell beads, it looks like. They're flat ovals. I think that's abalone shell. And I love all these beautiful black faceted beads. At first I thought they were oval beads, but they're actually a little bit teardrop shaped. Very, very nice. Let me get the charm that goes with this collection. And here it is. Isn't that adorable? I just love these. These are so cute. I'm not sure what I would put in there. Probably a photo. I guess it would have to be something flat that slides in there. You wouldn't want to put anything else in there that might fall out. And I guess you could use this in a necklace, but more than likely I'd use this on a bracelet, I think. Very cute. Let me bring out the next one. And here we have the bead mix for Anne of Green Gables. It says, true friends are always together in spirit. I absolutely love that quote. And that quote came from Anne Shirley. Let's take a look. Another beautiful collection. We have green, we have champagne. I see a beautiful AB finish on these here. Aren't they gorgeous? It looks like we have some bronze spacer beads and these gorgeous ornate copper beads. And these look like they're little charms. Aren't they adorable? Let me put them on this dish. I don't know if you can see, there's a little stone in the middle. These are beautiful enameled flowers and I absolutely love the color of this gold. It's such a pretty gold plating. And since there are two of them, you could make some earrings for sure. Let me go ahead and thread them on rods. And here they are threaded on rods. These colors are so gorgeous. I love the green and the champagne. I love that they gave us two colored metals. Let's take a look at the bigger ones. These are so beautiful. And I think my favorite are probably these. I love these. These are faceted coin beads, as you can see. And this color is so beautiful. I love it. And here we have some faceted champagne colored beads, teardrop shaped. And I love these gorgeous ornate copper beads. Look how gorgeous these are. Oh my gosh. These are so pretty. And here we have some green faceted rondelles. That's a very pretty green color. The Jesse James Beads team did such a great job of creating these mixes. Let's take a look at the smaller ones. We have some more of these green rondelle beads here. And these are very pretty as well. These are flower spacer beads and they're in a beautiful bronze color. I love them. And I like these as well. These are actually coin shaped. They have a gorgeous AB finish as you can see and they're faceted. They're absolutely adorable. And here are some tiny green rondelles. They're transparent as you can see and they're faceted. So beautiful guys. We've only seen three collections and I love every single one of them so far. Let me get the charm for this one. And here it is. It does look like it's the original cover. Let me open it up. They're all pretty much the same inside. I'm blown away by the creativity in putting these mixes together. I really am. Obviously somebody over at Jesse James Beads loves to read and I know many of you do too. And I have to confess I do too, but lately I haven't had much time to read novels. If I read anything, it's probably a beading book. I did listen to an audiobook the other day while I was beading, but it was a book about wellness and health. Let me go ahead and bring out the next bead mix. And here's the Pride and Prejudice bead mix. It says, There's nothing so bad as parting with one's friends by Mrs. Bennett. I love that novel, I really do. And I love the movie as well. Let's take a look. Look at these pretty blue beads and I love the red. These are really cool as well. These are very similar to the ones in the Frankenstein mix, but in a different color. It looks like they're in a dark aqua color. And I love these beautiful flower tassels. Aren't they adorable? It looks like there are some bead caps as well. 
and there are actually quite a few bead caps and it looks like there are two colors we have some bronze ones and we have some silver ones each one has six petals it looks like or little points and it looks like there are eight of each color so that's really nice I love these flower tassels and this is such a pretty blue color as you can see they have a little loop on top so you could definitely make some earrings with these they're so adorable and so feminine looking let me put the rest of these on a rod and here they are threaded on let's take a look at the larger ones we have some lava beads in this pretty red color as you can see I did put the bead caps on them and I put the bead caps on these as well so you can see how they look I don't know if I'd actually use them like that but I wanted to thread the bead caps on these are actually very pretty rondelles I love these they're kind of purple on one side and a greenish blue on the other and even though they're matte they have a little bit of shimmer these are really pretty as well these have large holes as you can see they're very similar to the other ceramic beads but they're in a different color and I love these faceted oval beads they're kind of a creamy color with a little bit of peach and they have a gorgeous luster effect so pretty let's take a look at these I love this pretty blue color I don't know if you call it periwinkle or cornflower but I've always loved this blue color it's so pretty and these are gorgeous teardrop shaped beads as you can see and these are very pretty as well look how gorgeous these are they have a gorgeous AB finish on top of that blue color so pretty these are very nice too these are two beads but they're faceted as you can see and they're in a very rich peach color with an AB finish on top so beautiful this mix is actually a pretty colorful mix but all the colors seem to work really well with each other and here's the charm that goes with this bead mix the writing is actually very small I could barely read it I had to put my magnifiers on and there's the inside it's the same as all the others but in a gold color I'm trying to think of what I could do with these I guess you could put them all on a bracelet and give it to somebody who loves books but I think I'm probably just going to put one on a bracelet because they're kind of large and they would actually make a great pendant as well let me bring out the next mix and here's the next one Charlotte's Web it says you have been my friend that in itself is a tremendous thing by Charlotte I love this novel I really do it's such a moving story let's take a look at this bead mix oh my goodness look at these colors these are such rich colors I love the blue and the gold together and once again it looks like we get some spacer beads some metal spacer beads and there are two shades of blue we have this blue and then we have this other blue here so pretty these actually remind me of the crystals that I have on my chandelier in my dining room they're actually the same shape but of course the ones on my chandelier are clear this is that gorgeous capri blue that reminds me of the ocean I just love this blue color it's so pretty and this blue color with the gold looks really regal to me and here they are threaded on let's take a look at the larger ones don't you love this beautiful combination of blues and golds I just think it's so elegant we have these blue ones here these are pretty large as you can see and then we have these faceted teardrop shaped beads in the pretty gold color but it's a very dark gold it's almost like an antique gold I love these table cut rectangles I love that they have the gold plating on the edges and of course that blue color is gorgeous they're very transparent as you can see let's take a look at these these don't show very well on the rod because of the way they're drilled but at least you get a side view now these are very different I've never seen these before these are corrugated metal beads I've worked with corrugated beads before but they're usually smaller than this but it's nice to get something different I like these spacer beads too look how gorgeous these are I love the texture on these very interesting and here we have some bicone beads as you can see they have a very pretty plating on top I'm not sure if you can see the plating maybe if I turn them you can see the beautiful reflection and here we have some daisy spaces and who doesn't need daisy spaces a very interesting combination of blues and golds and I think it's stunning and here's the little charm that goes with this collection I love the cover of this book it's definitely the original book cover it looks like it's gunmetal colored inside 
very adorable. And here's the last bead mix. This is the Murder on the Orient Express bead mix. It says, I believe in loyalty to one's friends and one's family. Another wonderful quote from the book, and it's by Princess Dragomirov. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's take a look. What a beautiful combination. This mix looks very regal and very elegant as well, just like the previous one. We have some beautiful gold medals, some pressed glass flowers, and some ceramic beads. We also have some bead caps. These are really pretty. And it looks like we have a couple of charms here. These look like the other two that I showed you from the Little Women bead mix, but as you can see, they're in a black color. They have the same gold finish though and they're very pretty in the back as you can see. They also have the little stone in the middle just like the other ones. I love these. I can totally see making a pair of earrings with these. Let me put these on rods and here they are threaded on. As you can see I didn't thread these on. These are actually charms and I didn't want to thread the flowers on because you wouldn't be able to see them properly. Let me put them in this dish. As you can see they're in a very pretty reddish color. It's kind of an orangey red color in my opinion. You could definitely do some wire wrapping with these. Very nice. Let's take a look at these charms. These are so gorgeous. Look how ornate these are. Each one has a loop as you can see. So that's handy. And it looks like the little bead inside is black colored. Let's take a look at the larger ones. We have some faceted hearts as you can see. Aren't these gorgeous? I love these. And here we have some pearl beads it looks like. Very very nice. And I love these beautiful faceted ovals. I did put the bead caps on each end so you can see how it changes the look. We actually got quite a few of these bead caps. We got eight of them total. I have the other four here. These are very pretty bead caps. I love them. And they actually look really cute with one of these red ceramic beads inside. It looks like some kind of berry or flower. Anyway, I love the color of these ceramic beads. They're a very pretty red color and they actually have pretty large holes so you can use them on leather cord. And here we have some metal spacer beads. There are quite a few spacer beads there. I love this collection. I think it's elegant as well. And here we have the little charm that goes with it. Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. I love Agatha Christie. There's the inside. Very, very nice. Let me bring out the other items. And here we have some leather cord. It's called literature cord. And this is such a pretty color. It's a kind of grayish green color. And as you can see, it has all kinds of words on it. I think they're actually definitions. I'm not sure. It says sparkle. And it says verb. Shine brightly with flashes of light. But anyway, this is such a unique idea and it's definitely the perfect gift for somebody who loves to read books. And more than likely, I'm probably going to make some bracelets with this. And it's so nice that they gave us some cord end terminators. I love this. Let me put them on a dish. As you can see, there are four of them. And these are super easy to use, guys. All you do is put the cord inside there and then fold it over and crimp it down. These are super easy to use. Let me just show you. You just put it in there like this and then fold this over and those little teeth crimp down and it holds the leather cord in place. You can put glue in there if you want to, but you don't have to. Very handy. And the last item on the list is this paperclip chain. This is actually a very popular jewelry trend right now. I love paperclip chain. You can actually wear it by itself like this. It works really well with layering so you could have a beaded necklace and team it up with this for a layered look. And how appropriate to have paperclip chain with this theme. A theme about literature and books. So clever. Well that's the full collection and I'm so impressed by the tremendous amount of beads. I thought I would arrange the containers upside down so you can see each bead mix. And one of the things that I absolutely love about the Jesse James Beads bead mixes is that they always give you different sizes, different shapes, so you have lots of options for design ideas. And in this box we have six different collections, which I think is so cool. And of course we have the book theme, the literature theme, and who doesn't like that? 
If you have friends that are teachers or someone who works at a bookstore or a friend who loves books, or if you love to read books, how cool is it to make a piece of jewelry with the beads from one of these beautiful collections? And I really can't pick a favorite because I love all of them. But I guess if I had to choose, I'd probably choose Little Women, especially since spring is right around the corner. I like the Anne of Green Gables collection as well. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and I hope you're as impressed as I am. I'm actually blown away by the creativity and all the effort that the JJB team put into this collection. Let me go ahead and put these away and I'll come back and say goodbye. Wasn't that a gorgeous box? Oh my goodness. I'm going to be so busy. I thought it was so clever of Jesse James Bees to come up with that theme. It's such a wonderful idea to choose a selection of books and then put together a collection of beads for each one. I would love to make something with each one of those collections, but I wish I could find the time. But anyway, guys, please leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this month's box. Let me know which collection is your favorite, which book title. I can't make up my mind which one I like. I'm going to have to sit down and look at all those beads and see what I can come up with. They're all very beautiful and it's going to be very difficult for me to choose, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. So anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.